Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> and welcome home. Thank you. Fiona, Thank you. Welcome. I'm so happy to see you. Welcome. Come on, what have you been eating? Uh, you look so big. What can I do? Uh, mother, take a look at the stomach. Oh my god. What can I do? Neither. I have always been busy with business. Oh please, you need to work out, trust me. You just have to work out. Don't mind her. Go and get our luggages. Huh? No problem. Mind. Okay, you're looking good. Thank you. Ah, mother, I miss home. Yeah. Oh, so I Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. I learned that Cliff Holdings, Nigeria Limited, paid five million naira balance into your personal account. Yes, they did. So, why your personal account? Why didn't you tell them to pay it into the company's account? Um, Dad, what's the difference between my personal account and the company's account? Ah. The most important thing is that they credited the account and I confirmed it. I did. But so the group belongs to me. So you shall not run it that way for me. At least not now that I'm still alive. The money belongs to the company. You must credit it to the company's account immediately. It's okay that I've heard. But the money is no longer there. The money is no longer where? In my account. Well, you just said it's in your account. Um, that they created the account, but I used it for my own personal things. Personal needs like what? Dad, you know, things I need now, I have to lie. Andy, listen, don't make me get mad at you. It's a warning. Um, ah, what rubbish. Uh, Chief, what is it? Come down, man, what is it? <laughs> um, Uncle I have heard your voice shouting over there. Why, why? Come down. Now leave my presence. Good day, Uncle. Yeah, yeah. Leave now! Nonsense. Yeah. What is it? My brother, it beats me the way that young man lavishes money like it's getting out of fashion. Yeah. Has anybody ever won a medal for wasting money? If I was spending money recklessly, the way he does, I don't think I would have been able to build this business empire that I have today. Uh, well, my, my brother, you, my brother and my elder brother, I've advised you several times, but you wouldn't take it. I've told you the possible way of solving and this reckless spending, which is, can you him into getting married? And all this nonsense will stop. You know he's a chronic bachelor. A man who gets whatever thing he wants at his beck and call. So, what do you expect of him? No, tell me, what do you expect of him? I have told you, listen to me, brother. Talk him into getting married. Give him responsibility. And all this nonsense will stop. That is my take. <sighs> okay. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. I want to thank you too so much for coming with me. Thank you. Mother, you have nothing to thank. You know, I shed tears seeing those motherless children. Mm. I thank God so much for those children. Honestly, they are the reason my business is booming. Mm. 
I also thank the Almighty for always giving me enough to provide for the needy. Yeah. <laughs> I thank God for these children. So I hope you are going to follow your mom's footsteps. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, one thing I love most about mom is her philanthropic nature. She is a wonderful mom. Mm. Mother, you were such a great mom. I have learned a lot from you. And I am still learning. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I pray in my next life, you will continue to be my mother. Come here. <laughs> I also pray that if at all we come back again, I want to have you as my daughter for you. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> my brother, that's the situation. Mm. The economy is terrible. You see, uh, the government should stabilize the Naira against the dollar. They should do something. Yes. They should do something. Ah. Excuse me. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Commissioner. <laughs> ah, so good to hear from you. Yes. Uh, business is fine. Uh, thank you. And how is the family? Oh, we thank God for that. We thank God. Who? Uh, you mean my son, Andy? Yes. And what about him? He's in your custody? W what did he do? Okay, I'll come right away. All right. Chief. I heard you say Andy and custody. What happened? The commissioner just told me he's in their custody. In the custody? The boy just left a few hours ago now. I don't know. Hi, I don't know. Andy. What has he done this time? I don't just know. Shall we go? Let's go. Yeah. I am Andy. Listen to me and listen very good. I'm going to be honest with you. I am not happy with you at all. Yes, I am not happy with you. Do you know you nearly cost my brother heart attack today? Do you know that? Listen, so before you do certain things, ask yourself this question. Who am I? Whose son am I? You are not just a son to any half person. You are a son to the multi billionaire. Imagine how the press would have carried the headline. A son of a multi billionaire chief Obi was arrested in reckless driving, drunkenness with four prostitutes. You think my brother need that? No, do you think he needs this? Listen to me, son. My brother would not need this from you. Because these things you do will tarnish, I mean, tarnish the image, the reputation he has built for years. And to tell you the truth, I'm not happy with you. I'm not. It's okay, Uncle. I'm sorry. I promise it won't happen again. Okay. Let it not happen again. Jesus, police arrested you. Will you shut For what? Out? I'm asking you a question. You're returning it with a question. Boss, I don't know that you were arrested by police. What's your work as my peer? 
But Tell me, what is your work as my PA? Every other person is aware I was arrested by the police except my PA. Are you tired of doing this job for me? No, boss, you asked me to stay back at home. Why you left with the four girls? I asked you to stay back at home. Did I ask you to shut down your brain? No, boss, I did not shut down my brain. I'm sorry. Kizito, boss, I'm going to club tonight. Arrange things for me, all right? Okay, boss. I want them fresh and clean. <laughs> Consider it done, boss. <laughs> my boss. Boss, I'm a pure wolf. Hey, Kizito. Boss. Yeah, what's up? My boss. Hi. Kizito, I can see you one bed. Yeah, boss, you're the only one I got for you. Come on, Kizito, you can do better than this, right? I mean, you know how I run things, you know how I cope. I can't do it one bed. I need like more. I do it three, four, five. Come on, you've been working for me so you know what I need. Right? <sighs> Okay, boss. Don't think it. Is it to do something, all right? Okay, boss. Do something, uh, please. Okay, boss. Mm. What's that for? Say, calm down. <laughs> down there. See, listen. Do you want to walk away from 200,000 naira? Remember, bear that in mind that 200,000 naira is not 200 naira. It's not, it's not 20 naira. 200,000 naira can change your life. Okay, put yourself together. Calm down. Okay, feel free. Feel at home. Let me go and get some daggers. Okay, sit down. Feel free. Comfortable. Come on. Where are your friends? Where are your friends? I need. I need more. I need more of the time. Oh my God. Hello. Hi. Hey. Come on, you guys are well loaded. Look at you both. I mean, so full. <laughs> I mean, girls, if you don't mind, you can join us, you know, have some fun, you know, party all night. You know, I mean, really lively environment for um, us. Um, do hey, we... come, 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 Just hold it there, all right? Let me go straight to the point. 200,000 Naira each. What nonsense? Okay? What sort of nonsense is that? Do we look like whores to you? I'm not talking about being a whore. I mean, I'm talking about we having fun. That's what I'm talking about, all right? I mean, you didn't hear me well. I said 200,000 Naira each for you guys. I mean, let's have fun together. Look at your pants. Kizito. Girl. <laughs> Girls, listen up. Dump this fool right here and join me to the car to collect 250,000 each. No, 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 girlfriend. Please make it 300K. Hmm, you all right? Hey, Kizito, let's move. They are not serious. <laughs> 300,000 Naira each, and I mean it. Let's move. Girls, you don't need to think it. Come on, girls, let's go. Boss, your phone. Is it? Boss, what are those bitches? Boss, you have asked me this question before. I told you that I don't know, but I will find out. Please do. Okay, boss. Do you think they are lesbians? Lesbians? Well, I don't know, but I will definitely find out. Please do your background check well, okay? Sure. Those girls messed up my night. Really? Yeah, Calvin. So you said you wanted to discuss something with me? Yes, Uncle. Yes. I'm all, yes. Okay, Uncle, I... 
I just wanted to tell you that um, I've decided to settle down. Uh, yes, <laughs> I have um, found the woman I want to marry. Mm. And um, I've already shown my dad and uh, he gave his approval. Mm. <laughs> this is good. Hmm? I'm glad to hear this. Thank you, sir. This is good news. Thank you, sir. Um, Uncle, I don't know when you will be chance that I'm looking at um, bringing her over to show you too, just like I've shown my dad. <laughs> very, very thoughtful of you. Hmm. Uh, why don't you bring her on Sunday? You know, say Sunday afternoon. No, Sunday evening. So we can do dinner together. That would be nice, Uncle. I'll do just that. <laughs> I'll do that. Thank you so much, Uncle. Uh, I'm very happy for you. And I know that my brother will be very glad now too. My Lord. Boss. Yeah, Kizito. The lady, the other light. You asked me to find something about her. I have done that. So what did you find out about her? <laughs> her name is Fiona. Fiona Peters. She grew up in the United States of America. She just came back. Okay. And for now, she hates Jovia Global. And her mother is a wedding woman. Hmm. Who is she? Popular Jovita Peters. The industrialist. Oh, I see. Um, Kizito. Boss, did you find out if she's into lesbianism? Lesbianism? Boss, I'm not sure. She's an advocate of feminism. I'm okay. sure of that. Okay. Yes, boss. Thank you. Thank you, boss. Mother, you sent for me. Yes. I want us to talk about your marriage. Oh, mother, please don't start again. What do you mean, don't start again? I will start again. I will say this over and over again that you bring your man to this house. Can't you look at yourself? Age is not by your side. When you look at it, can't you see that you're aging? You should be thinking of how to settle down. And you have to call down on your extravagant way of life. Call down on clubbing. You are the topic everywhere. Who cares, mother? I don't care about what people think of me. Honestly, I don't. Besides, you, you, you don't judge people that go to the club just like that. Mother, I have met decent and kind people at the club. Did you hear yourself? You met decent people at the club. Did you hear it? Since her hair is Nigeria. Do you care about the reputation of this family at all? You have to cut down on your attitude, work on your attitude, so that a responsible man can walk to you. I have heard you. Fine, I have heard you, mother. Can I please go in now? At least to continue what I was doing. Please? I have to make him take a wife. Yes, he must take a wife. Do I have anyone in mind? Hmm, so good to see you. Your mother has said a lot of wonderful things about you. <laughs> <laughs> it is obvious that she's very proud of you. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. You see, we, your mother and I, mm -hmm. actually invited you here so you could meet my son. Yeah. You know him? No, I don't think I've met him before. Ah, don't worry. Don't stress your brain. You'll see him today. Okay? 
Yes. Like she said, relax, okay? Uh -huh. Your mother and I have been wonderful friends, great friends. I like her bravery and industry. You know, of course I know you're like her. I'm still smiling too much, so that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here he comes. Oh. Good day, huh? How are you? That's my son. That's him. You. You. You know him? <laughs> I didn't know you before I met each other. Don't tell me that's what you two call each other, you, you. That makes things easier. Yes, <laughs> but they should try and know each other's name. I hope they don't call each other you. <laughs> no, I'm just being. <laughs> oh, my, my. Yes. Pizza. <laughs> yes. The onion is set. Okay, okay. Well, here you have Let's go to the table, please. <laughs> okay, Dad. Okay. This one you are looking up and down. What is the problem? Uh, no problem, my love. Ah, who is your love? A girl I love with passion. Oh, that I'm a charm. You look so take away and so you're my shots. Mm. Ah, please get out. Shift, 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 shift. Please get out. Shut, Shut up, please. Why? Who is your love? Uh, please, um, baby, um, give me the feedback uh, of our last discussion. Hmm. Yeah, Kizito, I don't have anything to say to you. Oh, you want to include me in your body count, right? Excuse me. Is it because of I want to marry you? You want to marry who? Yeah, it's a full end of the body you are short. Huh. I've seen you. I've seen how tall you can be. But I'm Iroko, you. Iroko tree. Mm -hmm. I've seen you. Iroko tree? You are calling me Iroko tree? With the this your bowed mouth? Kizito. Kizito, let this be the last time. You will stop me and save Obi. If not, I'll report it to your girl. Be very careful. Be very, very careful in this house. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Should I hope you enjoy the meal? Yes, sir. It's very delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least eat it. You don't know why you're playing with it. <laughs> you see, um, well, I know that your mother is very domesticated. And um, I hope you're like her too. <laughs> because she enjoys cooking her food herself. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. Andy. Andy. Yeah. What's going on? Nothing. You sure? Yeah, I'm fine. You see, son, um, we want you to to get to know each other well, okay? Exchange business cards, business ideas, okay? And know each other's name, okay? 
get familiar with each other. That's what we want to achieve. Mm -hmm. That's what? <laughs> Even now, aha, we have something to do. Mm. Mm. Bon appetit, darling. <laughs> so, have fun, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. All right, darling. All right. Mm. Yes, please. Mm. Thank you. Yes. And you, what the hell are you doing there? Is it my father's plan or yours? What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. I understand my father is trying to match make us, but I want you to know that it will never work. Get it into your teen score. Are you sick or something? What makes you think I am interested in you, huh? Will you shut up, shut, shut up, shut up your mouth in my house. Shut up. Idiot. Are you welcome? Man. Are you okay? Yeah, sure, sure. I can see you're smiling now. <laughs> All right. And, uh, Abby, when you brought out on eating, I would want you to take a uh, you know, round of the mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay, Dad. That's all right. All right. All right. <laughs> He's walking. <laughs> See, I don't know whatever that is going on. I don't care. But I want you to know that I am never interested in you. I'm not looking for any wife, all right? Don't allow my parents to deceive you. <laughs> you know, you are so pathetic. And what makes you think I would want to be with a man like you? Listen, don't make me say what I think you are. Holy, shut up, shut up, shut up your mouth. Shut up your mouth, you fool. <laughs> you are an idiot. Yes. Womanizer. Nitwit. Nymphomaniac. Idiot. I don't want Silly. to call you names, because if I call you names, you will faint. Bring it on. I tell I you. If I call you names, you're going to faint. I said bring it on. Dad. <laughs> so how do you see her? Who? Uh, uh, Fiona, of course. <laughs> Dad, I don't understand what you mean by how do I see her. I mean, okay, wouldn't you like to marry her? She's beautiful, educated, exposed, successful, and very, very decent. Yes. Mm. You see that she may be everything you mentioned, but she's not my kind of girl. I can't uh, marry her. What? Not your kind of girl? Yes. So what exactly do you want in a woman? Dad. When I see that woman, I will surely bring her to you. You had better be fast about it. Be fast. Yes, Dad. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was here cracking my brain, thinking of how to introduce uh, you two to each other. I didn't even know that you knew each other already. I knew it. Mother, so you actually took me there for me to throw myself at him. You're taking it too far, no? That's not why I took you there, but the father wants him to get married to you. They want to marry you. That's the truth. Mother, the earlier you parents of nowadays realize that marriages are not done by this kind of arrangement, the better for all of you. Mm. Why are you talking like this? 
Andy is a good boy. Mm. His father is my friend. In fact, his late mother used to be my bestie. Please. So we've been friends for a long time. Andy will make a wonderful husband, trust me. Mother, do not judge a book by its cover. And besides, no one will impose a man on me to marry. Period. God. Are you serious? Mother, I'm serious too. I'm serious. Nothing. Things are not done that way. Honestly, things are not done like this. Will I just come and just like I'm some robot that doesn't even have a choice in life or something? I don't like it. Yeah, is it all? Is it all? Boss! Where is your mind? Eh? What are you watching that is making you laugh like a jackass? Eh? Boss, is a, is a comedy skit. What about the girls? Girls? No, the boys, idiot. The girls for the hookup, are they here? Oh, Jesus. I, uh, boss, I forgot. <laughs> you forgot? You're not taking your work serious, Kizito. Are you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, boss. My friend, will you go and do what I ask you to do? Go and get me the girls. Okay, boss. I will suck you if Kerry is not taking Kizito. Be serious with this job. <laughs> like, seriously? Are you joking? Like, the father wanted to match make you both. <laughs> and the stupid guy was acting as if I was the one who begged his father to do so. Like, what the heck? He doesn't even know how much I hate him. That sounds funny. Like, you're trying to say he was playing hard to get like most <laughs> girls do. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't think that. That guy is so silly. <laughs> Babe, trust me, you don't even want to imagine. That guy is just a jerk. Damn! Uh-huh. Like, seriously? <laughs> me? Fiona? <laughs> I can understand. He was planning to be the celebrity. In your oh, please. Oh, please. <laughs> no, 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 don't, don't even make me laugh because I am upset. Like, I'm pissed. Uh, but then it's funny. <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> you got a husband for yourself. Get away! <laughs> Girl, tell me, what are you going to Dubai? Well, I think I'll do that next time. Okay, then I'm gonna join you. Yes, because I need to shop some new gold. What do you guys care for? <laughs> what is it again? <laughs> Hi, ladies. What will it cost me for you to dump this idiot and join me at my table right now? You must be out of your mind to call me an idiot. Why are you peeing in your pants already? This is business. Besides, why am I even wasting my time talking to you? Ladies, listen up. You just have to make a decision right now. Hey, my, my friend, will you just respect yourself? Will you just respect yourself and leave my side before I do something nasty? <laughs> Tales by moonlight. You can't do nothing, darling. Okay? I can't believe after the embarrassment you gave your father yesterday, you still have the nerves to carry women. Will you shut your dirty mouth up? What are you fools doing here? 
I mean, will you just respect yourselves and get your filthy being out from my sight before I do something nasty? Ladies, make a decision quickly and tell me how much will it cost me for you to dump this, this son of a bitch right here and come with me. Whatever it is that he is going to pay you, I will double it. Right away. Oh, wow. Are you a lesbian? We don't do women. Sorry, sweetheart. You know, I just want to pay you for you to leave this man here and come with me. I am not a lesbian either. You mean you're going to double his offer? Mm-hmm. That's right. Exactly. I can't believe you. <laughs> so you're welcoming her proposal, right? Excuse me, please. <laughs> We're talking about money, and the ladies want money. Run along, nigga. Bye. <laughs> so, ladies. Come on, girls. Yeah. Let's Again. go. Let's go. Start the car. Let's leave. What about the girls? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. What do you mean by I should consult my father? And you should understand me. There's nothing I can do. The amount you're asking for is too much and you know I can't debit such amount. And it's above my authorization limit. Your dad needs to authorize it before we disburse cash. So you need to call him. Kelvin, I'm not asking you or begging you to pay the money into my account. I am telling you to pay the money into my account. I understand that, but you have to get it. I'm only playing by the rules. And you know how we work in the company. We can't debit such amount of money from the company without your dad's approval. You know that. So I suggest you call your dad. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. All right? I've heard. You may now leave. All right, see you later, man. Well, son. You said you wanted to discuss something with me earlier. Yes. I'm listening. I need some money, Dad. Don't tell me you're broke, Andy. This is not about being broke, Dad. I need a huge amount of money. And may I know what this huge amount of money is? I need at least 20 million naira. Andy? 20 million naira? Yes. That's indeed a huge amount of money. What do you want that kind of money for? You see that I want to go into importation. I want to start importing tricycles into the country and West Africa at large. So I've started um, making plans and necessary inquiries to that effect. Andy, Benson and Group is there for you to manage. What do you need to invest in another business venture for? Dad, I understand you perfectly. You see, I am so proud of what you have achieved with Benson and Group. And I want to achieve that for myself too. So I want to have, you know, original idea of my own business. I want to nurture it, you know, grow it so that my kids, you know, uh, you know, they will be proud of me as their father. As for Bensonic Group, I will always look after it, you know, but I just want to have a business of my own, you know, grow it, nurture it, and see it grow so big like Bensonic Group. <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, I think I get your point. You see, I, 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 I like it when you said you would want your children to be proud of you. Oh, yes. You know. But I think you should get it started now and, you know, begin to have the children you talked about. <laughs> uh, um, Dad, I might marry earlier than you think. Don't be surprised. Yes. I might marry before Kelvin. <laughs> That's <laughs> my <laughs> son! <laughs> You see, wonderful. But you know something? You can only get the money when you bring a woman and introduce her to me as your fiance. You will even get much more than that when you get married. Don't forget. You are an only son. Okay? Come on, Dad. I need to set up myself. You know, before talking about a woman. You know, I can't be a daddy's boy all the time. Understand? I'm a man, Dad. Understand? Yeah, hello. Yeah, what's up, bro? Yeah, so as I was saying, I don't know why he's disturbing me with this woman I've been staying. He said I should let a wife when he gets one for me. I don't understand. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Like, this network thing has started again. Hello? 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 Are you hear me? Yeah. Andy, where is this guy? The problem is, I don't know. I don't know why he's talking about it. Not everyone likes this marriage of a thing. Yes! I am not interested in marriage. I'm not ready for that shit. I'm not ready to be, you know, entangled or, you know, be under a web of any woman. Yes! If I'm ready for kids, I will just go do the baby mama thing and have some peace of mind. Me? I can't tell my father that. I'll keep delaying, you know, just um, turning him around until he gets tired of asking me about a woman. Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> Marriage. My brother, I am not interested in that. I am not into, I will never get married. Oh, yes. I can't afford to just, you know, mortgage my peace for anything called. Uh, I don't know, I can't do that. Calvin, are you sure of what you have just told me? Yes, Uncle, I'm very sure. I know he wouldn't listen to me if I had um, advised him or talked to him. He wouldn't listen to me. That's why I decided to tell you so we can figure out how to help him. Because with what I am seeing, and as he stands now, Andy really needs our help. to be left alone. Okay, we'll go. Andy. You don't know me. You don't know what your father can do. No, you don't. Chief, <laughs> you really work hard lately. Yeah. Riding up things is not easy. Yeah, it's a Andy. Marista. Hey. Good day, Andy. Andy. Yeah. Uh, How are you? I'm fine, Marista. It's been a long while. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> You're always busy now. Why, well, you know? From one court to another. That's what legal profession is all about, and that's my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, so there's something I yes, want to show please, you. Chief. Okay. Uh, I've written my will. Oh. Yes. <laughs> no, feel free. Sit down. Go through it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Yes, so the buy size with the original copy. Feel free, go through it, you know, read everything, okay? What is this, Dad? Well, I want you to see it with your own eyes so that it won't be on my conscience that I did not do my best to help you. I, I don't understand. Dad, how can you do such a thing? Like, I mean... Well, since you decided not to get married, I do have decided that none of my assets will go to you upon my death. As you can see in the wheel, I have bequeathed everything that I have to Kelvin, your cousin. The mansions, the cars, the passes of land, Bensonic groups, everything. Even the duplex you are living in right now, you know, will become Kelvin's once the wheel takes effect. The only thing that can invalidate that will is if you get married. And you have to do so before I die. Otherwise, once I'm dead and the will is right, everything will go to your cousin. So, that choice is yours to make. It will never happen, Dad. No, 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 it will never happen. It is not possible. That can't happen. What? I'm your son. I'm your son. My cousin has nothing to do with any of the properties. Oh, no, no, no. This won't stand. Barista, this won't stand. This won't stand. What? It won't. Nonsense. <laughs> oh, man. Man. Little boy. What? What can I do? Don't mind him. Oh, jeez. It's not serious. This is awful. Don't bother yourself. I know how to handle him. Never! Never will it happen! Stop this car, let's move! Let's leave this compound! It will never happen! Nonsense! Sir, sir, move this car. Get out from this car! Like right. Move this car! I will show them my true color! Nonsense! <clears throat> Nonsense! Are you not clubbing tonight? No. Ha. But I mean fun. I arrange beautiful papers. Obe umu de ma. Umu de sharp. No. Boss, I mean beautiful girls that will handle you well tonight. Kizito. Eh? Hagami go no umbo. Ga piani budogo. Can you just allow me be? I need some space. What's the comma? Oh no, we say my boy, what do I think? You need to give it to me. One power. I'm sorry, boss. Should I tell him this? Dad? Those sounds of gunshots? Yes, Chief. Chief, 
Cynthia is dead. What? Oh my God. Oh God. Oh my God. Cynthia is dead. Just mm. like that. Oh my God. Who could have killed Cynthia? What has she done? The question is, does it mean that no one saw the shooter? In that case, if anyone can come here, she will kill somebody and walk away without being caught. There's no security in this place. And something needs to be done very fast. Yes. You're right, my brother. I must do something about it. I must. Sincerely, I don't know why they attacked us. I really don't know. I don't know. Chief, your housekeeper was shot dead right inside your compound here a couple of days ago. Yes, very true. Did the attackers try to gain entrance into the house after killing her? Well, I really don't think so. Though, according to the gatekeeper, the poor girl wanted to go down the road to buy airtime. So, uh, she went and opened the gate. As soon as she stepped out, the gatekeeper said he had gunshots. So, he quickly ran in for safety. The gate was open and nobody came in. So, after some time, he summoned courage to go check what the gunshots were all about. You know. So, the moment he got outside, and behold, Cynthia was lying dead. Nobody was inside. Uh, I reported the matter the same day at the police station. In that case, she was the primary target as a last attack. That reminds me, Chief. Two of your employees were killed within the same week. Why were they killing your employees? Honestly, uh, I don't know what to think. My staff are some of the nicest people on earth. Why would anybody kill them? Why? But Chief, do you think you are the target or your driver in this attack? I wouldn't know who the target was. I wouldn't know. Chief, like how many we are there? I mean the gunmen. Everything happened so fast. I think I saw 
two persons. There could be more than that. Yeah. Thank you for the information, Chief. Uh, I think we should take our leave now. But in case you remember anything else, do not forget to let us know. Well, thank you. I'll, I'll put that in mind. We are so sorry for your loss, Chief. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll still come back again, Chief. Thank you. Why are you staring at me like that? Dad, my instinct tells me that you are the prime target in all these attacks. Cynthia and John were just victims of circumstance. What are you talking about? I was not in any way close to Cynthia when she was shot dead. You know, I mean, if the person who shot her wanted me, he would have come inside the house for me. But instead, he shot Cynthia and fled. I mean, what does that tell you? I think we should just wait for the police to conclude their investigations instead of making categorical statements. Dad, you're saying we should wait for the police to conclude their investigation? That's right. That's right. Come on, Dad. Can't you see what's going on? The timing of these attacks are happening after you showed me your will. So what are you insinuating? Dad, someone who stands to gain from the wheel wants you dead. <laughs> are you saying this so that I can hurry up and change the wheel in your favor? Ah, come on. <laughs> it will never happen, my son. Never! I've already told you the condition under which the will can be changed in your favor. Get married. Dad, my point is the whole attacks, all these attacks are pointing at something. The will. <laughs> ah, Andy, Andy. Let me tell you something. You see, there are only three persons who know about this will. Mr. Douglas, you, and myself. And I know that I know that Barrister Douglas will never divulge the content of that will to anyone. Never. And neither would he want me dead. But of course, I wouldn't want myself dead. Oh, do you want me dead? God. You are giving me the impression that you know something about the killings. That's what you're doing. Dad. Anyway. Maybe you want me to think that uh, my life is under threat so I can change the will. It means you don't know me. But uh, you don't know your father. You don't. Anyway, I've been invited to the police station. We shall discuss this issue in due course, okay? Enjoy yourself. wasn't that serious as we expected. Oh. He's responding to treatment. Thank God. The way he's going, very soon he'll be out of danger. All right. Um, Doc, please, on no account should you allow anyone to see my dad. 
Okay. Not okay. even family members. Okay. I came with armed policemen. They are outside on guard already. Better. Thank you. You heard him? Yes, sir. Call me. Oga, what is it? Mm. Oga, uh, I beg you. Eh? I won't resign for this work when I did do. Why? Oga, do we within within they come enter this house, key people come out. Oga, that, that thing don't they fear me. Uh, see, my children still this small. They never serve me very well. Oga, I beg, I won't I won't resign. Hmm. Nasiru. Oga. Nobody's going to kill you, right? Hi. Okay, you know to understand what I they talk. Okay, see I'm here. The other day they come, they shoot Cynthia, she, she die. They come shoot yeah, 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 John. No. That one die. This morning. No, I'm gonna have shoot. That one get luck. He survive out. And my mind they tell me say the next person waiting go come shoot. If it be me and Oga those one one bah. I, I would uh, die. Nasiru, nobody's going to kill you, right? <laughs> but if you insist you want to resign, you can go ahead. Mm? Mm. Thank you, sir. Where are you going? And I beg, I go to my papa's house. This house don't turn to war zone. I know they ready to die. I'll be the only child. I beg. Nice working with you people. After the war, I will come back for my salary. I beg. There is problem. So you say they have all stopped working with us. I don't blame them. They have every reason to be afraid for their lives. Dad, you might not like what I'm about to say, but I believe this attack has something to do with the will. Well, apart from the two of us, that's you and me. The only person who knows about the will is Barrister Douglas. Perhaps he must have told someone else. Trust all these lawyers. They can betray one for just <laughs> just a token of of money. Not Barrister Douglas. He's not that kind of person. I trust him. Besides, if you say the attacks have something to do with the will, uh, who is that person that wants to be dead? Kelvin. That, of course, is not possible. He is my godson, and he sees me as a father. I don't think he, he cannot even think of something like that. He can't. It's my nobby Kelvin, but my spirit is telling me it's someone so close to you. And who is that person? Barrister Douglas. Hmm? Excuse me, Hello, Uncle. Uh, hello, Andy. Yes, 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 yes. Andy. I heard that my brother was shot today. Is it true? Yes. Hi, my God. How did it happen? Eh? Is he still alive? Yes, he is. 
Are you with him there? No. He's at the hospital. But I can't disclose the hospital for now. The police doesn't want anyone to visit him. Eh. Uh, okay, okay. You have reported to the police, is it? Yes, I have. Good. Okay. I'll be watching. I'll be watching. Okay. It's all good. Kizito, give me the car key. I want to go get something. Kizito, you stay back with my dad, alright? Don't allow anyone to come see my dad. I will tell the police people too, okay? What did doctor want to see him? Do not be a dumb scum. Only the doctor is allowed to see him. you're here. Please, some people after my life, they've been following me for a very long time. Please help me, okay? How is that my business? Why don't you call the police? I will call the police immediately I get to a safe place, please. Alright? Please, as you can see, I was busy shopping. I don't really, I don't have that time for all Fiona, this these people are after my life. Oh. They already killed two of my daddy's workers. Alright? They shot my dad. As we speak, my father is in the hospital. Please. Your dad was shot? Oh, yes. I count the shooter unlucky. If not, my dad would have been dead by now. Wow, yes. this is serious. So, so how do I help you?
Fiona, thank you so much for the ride. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Oh. Hold on. Just to satisfy my curiosity, who are the people that won't see you and your father dead? It's complicated. How complicated? Can I trust you? It's your choice. Oh, never mind. Like I said earlier, it's complicated. Thanks for the ride, all right? Thank you. Um, how about your car? Are you going to leave it there? I am going to send my driver to get it later. Thank you. Okay. All right. Hello. What's up? Armed men trying to gain interest into the house? What of my father? Is he alright? Oh. Okay, okay. I'll be right there. Alright? You're acting as if you're carrying a pot of fire on your bare head. Dad, are you not bothered about all these attacks? Of course I'm bothered. You know, but the police have promised me that they are doing something about it. I just finished speaking with the Commissioner of Police. You know, he's my friend. Did you tell him about the will? No. Dad. I have told you repeatedly that those attacks have something to do with the will. That reminds me. Barrister Douglas told me you came to his office to interrogate him. Oh yes, I did that. Because my instincts tells me that he has a hand in those attacks. Oh yes. Now, and let me warn you. Don't you ever mention my will in our conversation again. Now listen, let me tell you something you don't know about me. I am not going to change that will, you know, even if they have something to do with the attacks. I'm not going to change that will. And the only way I can change that will in your favor is when you get married. Good afternoon, Uncle. How are you, Calvin? I'm fine, Uncle. Andy, what's wrong? Why do you look that moody? So, Calvin, what about the documents I said you should bring for me? Uncle, uh, they're in the car. I have them. They're outside. I thought we'd go into the office together. I'm still getting... No, I'm here to recover, so I can't go to the office for now. So go get the documents so I'll tell you what to do. Okay. 
give it to us. Oh. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Hey, boss, it has been long we've never been clubbing. And there's a new club in town. Boss, that place is exclusive. <laughs> that place is reasonable. And again, um, there are some hot and sexy ladies in town. Um, we're not going to more the Get lazy guy that will take good care of you. Kizito, boss. I don't want to raise my voice on you. Never you mention club into my hearing, okay? Ha. Am I understood? Hey, hey Kizito, boss. What's that wedding band doing on your finger? Boss, I use it to fake marriage. To discharge some girls. You teach me work and I learn. <laughs> Shut up. Just respect yourself and get out of here. Sorry, sir. He used it to fake marriage. Can it work in my own case? Maybe I should try it. Yeah, sit. Thank you. Uh. Before I start with what brought me here, let me first of all apologize to you for what I did to you and your friend. I am so sorry about it. Please forgive me. Apology accepted. So? Thank you. Um, I'll go straight to the point. If you and I need your help. What is it? Is someone after your life again? No one is after my life. I'm fine. Fiona, I want you to be my wife. <laughs> I want you to marry me. Are you kidding me? You see, it's not like regular marriage, okay? It's a contract marriage. Okay, let me state it for you. You get married to me, it's not going to last more than four months. No sexual activities, no romantic affair. I just want my father to see me married. I want him to believe I am married, okay? That is what I stand to achieve. So after then, we go our separate ways. I know money is not your problem, but if you want me to pay you, Fiona, I will gladly do that. I am not caught out for such drama. Look for someone else to play that game with you. Hey, come on, Fiona. I mean no disrespect. I have so much regards for you, and that's why I came. Okay? I can't just discuss such sensitive issue with a random girl. Andy, you are the wrong place. Please check the next door. See, Fiona, I know you're not keen to get married now. So why did you come here? Can I explain? No. You have overstayed your welcome. Can you please excuse me? I would like to shut the door after you. Just imagine the rubbish. What the hell does he take me for? Fiona, you have suffered. How can it? Andy, 
Please stop staring at me and tell me what you're doing in my house. I have something doing and your presence here is distracting me. Fiona, my father disinherited me because I never wanted to get married. The truth is I don't like marriage. I just want to live my life without getting married, but something happened. What happened? My father willed all his assets to my cousin. The only thing that will change his mind is if I get married. But now some people want him dead. So that all his assets will go to my cousin. Um, are you saying that your cousin wants your father dead? So that he can inherit your father's property? I don't know who wants my father dead. But I know it's all connected to the will. But why would your father make the content of the will known to your cousin? He didn't tell my cousin. But I am strongly suspecting my father's lawyer. He wants my father dead. I've been talking to my father, but he wouldn't listen. He's a stubborn man. The only thing that will make him change his mind is if I get married. And I don't want to see all my father's assets go to someone else never um andy this is so complicated i'm sorry i can't help you you have to look for someone to play that game with you i'm sorry i can't fiona fiona i can't andy good afternoon Bob. welcome son yeah how are you doing today? Very well. And you? I'm good, Dad. Okay. Dad, our lives are seriously in danger. I don't know what this is all about. Uh, what's the problem? Some people are trailing me for some time now. They follow me everywhere I go. I don't know what they want from us. Who are they and what do they want? I don't know. Yesterday they were following me. I increased my speed. They did the same. I had to pull over and go into hiding. I don't know. Who could that be? I don't believe you. I don't. Dad, I think someone paid these people to take us out. Anyway, I, I, I don't think that, that there's any problem anywhere. I've hired some security men to watch over us. You must have seen them out there. Yes, I did. Good. I just hired them. No problem. Okay? If my son gets it, then it is automatically mine. I'll get it right this time around. Hi. Hi. Can I sit? Oh, please sit. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me get you a drink. Oh, no, no, no. I'm good. So, shoot. Why did you ask me to come here? You see, Fiona, I'm losing my mind. Yes, I'm tired of life. I'm tired of everything. I just need someone to talk to. Andy! Why would you say that you're tired of life? I don't mean to scare you, okay? But that's the truth. Listen. You just want me to do that deal with you. Okay, let's say I am not tired of life, but I'm going crazy. Yes. That's better. Now you can buy me a drink. I thought you said you don't want a drink. I changed my mind. Uh, or can't I change my mind anymore? Of course. Weather. Um, so how's your father doing? Honestly, he's not doing fine, right? He's warning and 
pressuring me to get a woman to the house. You know, I don't want to lose her, so I have to do something fast. If that is the case, I'll do it. For real? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's so wonderful to hear right now. Weather, please, fast, okay? I'm just so happy. Come on. That's fine. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so, how are you, my dear? I'm fine, sir. Mm. Yeah, I'm dad. And the. Uh, ah! You did welcome, my dear. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, dad. Thank you, dad. Yes, yes, yes. I'm good now. Yeah. Oh, That's great. <laughs> ah, Dad. Yes. Fiona and I agreed to get married. What did you just say? Um, I'm about to make Fiona my wife. How are you married to her? Come, 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 come. That's uh, my son. <laughs> ah. yeah? Yes. So. Very soon it's going to happen. Oh, yes. Hey. Uh, 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 oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is really good. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. Mm -hmm. Ah. <laughs> Ah. So, um, see you later, Dad. I'll see you guys again. Okay, Dad. Very soon. All right. So, I'll stop making the Take good care of her. Okay, yeah, Dad. I'll trust I will. You. I will. All right, Dad. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let me watch you go. Okay. Open! Kizito! Open the car! That I have to be a perfect gentleman. <laughs> okay. My brother, <laughs> you're welcome. Chief, what is this celebration for? Ah, uh, <laughs> look, I'm celebrating. <laughs> so get yourself a glass. I know, I know. Hmm? I will do drugs with that. But hmm? you must tell me, first and first, tell me why we're celebrating. I'm celebrating my son. Andy? Yes. What happened? He has found a wife. He's got himself a woman, so and they're getting married pretty soon. <laughs> Listen, this day call for celebration. We're going to have party tonight. You can't say that again. Yes, I told you. I told you my son Andy, mm. the dog, will someday get married. Yeah. You're right. If you kept, you know, disturbing yourself, complaining. I understand. Well, you can see that I'm very happy now. <laughs> huh? Um, huh? Um, but um, huh? if I'm thinking, eh? Hmm? Now that, now that Andy has decided to get married, why don't you do it? Uh, fix a time, date, and venue with Andy and Kevin at the same time. Fantastic. Go. Let me, let me, let me <laughs> get, get, get the glass, please, I'll join you. Huh? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? On a Monday? <laughs> why would you want to wait on a Monday? Why not Saturday or Sunday? 
I mean, why on the Monday? Dad, Fiona and I want it that way and nothing will change it. Ha! Your uncle wouldn't like this at all. He's looking forward to having you and Kelvin wed on the same day. Dad, Fiona and I want just a private wedding. <sighs> no invitations, no crowd, no razzmatazz, no dazzle jazzle like. Just few family members, right? You know, we don't need cameras, pictures. We just want a low key wedding, a private wedding. Please understand that, Dad. Yeah. This is strange. Very strange. So, my only child is getting married and he doesn't want me to make a noise about it. What do you want my friends to say? My business associates, top politicians, high ranking servicemen, top clergymen. Name them. How do you think they will feel? when they find out that they did not get an invite to my son's wedding. <sighs> you see, Dad, at this point, we have to be security conscious. You know, we don't even know who wants you dead. We don't know who set the bomb and all. So, I mean, we have to keep everything on the low, like, you know, as much as private we can. Just let, let's do this. I mean, just understand that, please. All right, no problem. No problem at all. If that's the way you want it. The most important thing is that you're getting married. <laughs> that's all right. It's okay. <laughs> Why do I have a feeling that something is wrong somewhere? You never liked Andy, and all of a sudden, you're in love with him. <laughs> Mother, mm -hmm. isn't that what you've always wanted? Yes, that's what I wanted, but something is fishy somewhere. Why? Because the way you're rushing this wedding. The rush simply tells me that um, maybe my daughter is pregnant. Mother! Mm -hmm. <laughs> God, mother, come on. You know I'm not that loose. You, stop laughing. You know I'm too decent for that. No, 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 you say you're not decent. But just stop covering up and tell me exactly what's going on. I promise to cover you up. Come on, mother. Trust me, nothing is going on. Everything is just fine. Fine? Uh huh? Hmm? <laughs> mother, stop, just stop. Well, I'm serious. Everything is fine. Nothing is going on. Just... Really? <laughs> Mother, please stop it, Joe. Nothing. I'm okay. Dad. Oh, Who Kevin. I? I can see you're dressed already. Yes, I'm dressed. <laughs> Dad. You're not your dress. No. I mean, was I invited? I was not invited. I, I, I still don't understand something, Dad. Something is not adding up. Suddenly, and he decided to get married, and um, he's having a quiet and a secret wedding. That's not adding up. <laughs> well, uh, honestly, I don't know. And of course, I wouldn't have known if the father didn't tell me. So that he says it's the way Andy wants it. Well, and they decided not to even invite me, his cousin. Like I told you, I don't know. That's the way he wanted it. I'm wondering. I still can't figure out why they took this decision. So that's why I decided not to go, because I am sure they don't need me there in the court wedding. My dear, you don't bother yourself. If you're not invited, I will suggest you stay back. Stay back. I've decided to do that, Dad. I've decided to stay back. Now, I believe you still love your life, right? Yes. Now begin to talk before I blow off your head. Please don't kill me. Now! Please don't kill me. I will talk. Don't kill me. I, I wanted him out of the way. So that my son will inherit all his assets according to the way. Oh, I 
And how exactly did you know what is in the will? Speak! Sir, God has really buttered your son's bread for him. My son? Yes, sir. What about him? Ah. Sir, you have to pay me for this vital information I want to give to you now. Hmm. <laughs> you don't you don't see this thing amazing me. What do you mean by paying you? Okay, okay. I will bless you. Just tell me what is it. Okay. My own blood brother would want me dead after everything I did for him. Huh? So sad. No, no, it's terrible. That's human beings for you. So, when are you going to nullify the will, Dad? Knowing that uh, his son, Kelvin, is still around. Yeah, but the, the, the father confessed that his son does not know anything about it. Oh, come on, Dad. Even if he did, I mean, he may be protecting his son's interest. He wouldn't want to go down with him. I think you have a point there. All right. Uh, I'll call Barrister Douglas and talk with him. Okay. So, when is the new wedding date now? Dad, I have to confess. That was going to be a fake wedding. What? Oh, yes. You know, I knew how bad you wanted me to get married. So, I had to plan with her to fake the marriage. Especially when I found out that the whole attacks you know, was because of the will. So I planned it with her to do the fake marriage so that when you reinstate the will, you know, we modify the marriage and go our separate ways. And... Oh, Dad, there may still be another marriage. We are currently dating and if it works out, we get married. Honestly, I knew that something was fishing. But I couldn't perceive the direction where it was coming from. So even you, you kept that away from me? You couldn't tell me? Auntie, I am really sorry. It wasn't intentional. Mother, please, don't blame Gozi. He did everything possible to stop me. Well, now listen, let's not dwell on the past now, okay? Andy and I are in love, and that's all that matters. Yes, ma'am. You see, your daughter has really changed my life. She made me feel what true love is like, and I am, a, I am so, like, so, 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 you know, appreciative of that. Um, I want to promise you that I will never do anything to hurt your daughter. I promise you. And why are you smiling? <laughs> I should be happy for my sister. And I'm still angry with all of you. Sorry, mother. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's more beautiful when you smile, you know. <laughs> Andy, you're welcome. Thank you, Thank you. I'm to be here. For real, man. <laughs> and you. <laughs> you have just two minutes to see him. So, you came. Father, did you do it? Yes, I did it for your sake. You wanted to kill your own brother because of me? How? I don't understand. Oh. To tell you the truth, I regret every bit of my action. But if I had succeeded, you would have inherited all his assets, including his company. How possible is that, Dad? How possible is that when he has his son? I know you won't understand. Me. Do you know my brother, Chifubi, with all his assets and company to you? Though I, 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 there's no time going into details to tell you the full story. My major problem now is look for a competent lawyer that will take me out of this place. Please. I no longer work in a company, Dad. 
Sagt sie? Ich bete nie auf. Oh yeah, it's been walk, walk, walk. I'm traveling, you know, trying to establish myself overseas. So I've been trying my best, trying to put some things in place. I mean, like one or two. And what's yes, the meaning of this nonsense? What's wrong with you? What? I am here with you and you're busy lusting after some women. Hey, come off it, all right? You know what? I'm Just not... hold it. I'm out of here, please. She will still be asleep by now. I can't call her by this time. I think I goofed. But why am I having this restlessness because of her? What exactly is happening to me? Sorry about what happened last night. You were right. I was actually staring at them lustfully. I understand how disappointed you were last night. But I'm here to say I'm sorry. And please forgive me. Forgive you. I got this flower for you. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Thank you. 